Well, the issue of uh, allegation of involvement of our personnel in oil theft, um, you know, this is the age of uh, social media. And many people who do not even have the full details, they just put something up there. But if you go through some of those allegations and investigate them, you find out that the basis of those allegations are not are unfounded. For instance, uh, uh, somebody will just see a vessel somewhere, he will say, oh, the military are involved. He doesn't even know whether there's proper approval from NNPC for that vessel to, be, to load. But he will put it on social media that he saw some military men on board the vessel, and that vessel is engaged in illegal bunkering, without even without having the correct information. But whatever the case may be, Anytime we receive such allegation, we investigate it properly. So, so far, our investigations have been showing that most of the allegations are not true. But each time, we still respond to them by investigating properly so that if there's element of truth in it, we hold the person responsible and we apply the law according to the Armed Forces Act. It has a very severe consequence, ranging from imprisonment to dismissal which we apply on. So there have been such cases in the past and appropriate action were taken. But I bet you more than 90 something percent of those allegations are just based on social media hype without proper uh, uh, background. Then with respect to what we are going to do, we are going to improve our surveillance capability because we want to be able to strike the criminals even before they, they, they go into the act. We want to arrest them while they are planning why they are thinking about it. So we don't want to be on the uh, defensive. We want to take the war to the criminals. 